SSS Defense has started exporting its Sabre sniper rifles to a friendly country. The government has issued a request for information for the manufacturing of 23mm anti-drone ammunition by the Indian industry. The Indo-Russian Rifles Private Limited has achieved 30% indigenization of components in AK-203, 70% indigenization is targeted by mid-2025, and full indigenization by September 2025. Defense Minister Rajnath Singh visited DRDO headquarters in New Delhi, and interacted with senior officials to mark the 67th Foundation Day of the organization. The Archer Shot Range unmanned aerial vehicle has undergone significant design enhancements, including a lightweight airframe manufactured by Godrej Aerospace, and it is all set to conduct its first flight very soon. The Indian Army has released a request for proposal for the procurement of 10,276 multi-spectral camouflage nets for desert and semi-desert terrain. New satellite image indicates that Pakistan's spy ship PNS Rizwan is nearing completion. An Air Force official has said that the Tejas Mark II program has received a firm commitment from the Indian Air Force for 120 units, but this commitment is expected to not only break the 200-unit mark, but could potentially extend to as many as 250 units over the course of the next decade. While the Tejas Mark II is set to be powered by F-414 engine, it might undergo an engine switch to the indigenous 110 kN engine, after the Air Force has inducted its first batch of aircraft, ensuring that the aircraft remains a key part of India's air combat capabilities for decades to come. Latest data showcases that the Indian Astra Mark III air-to-air -air missile boasts a 20% higher ramjet-specific impulse compared to the European Meteor missile, suggesting that the Astra Mark III can maintain higher speeds, enhancing its engagement envelope during combat scenarios. The Astra Mark III also boasts an 18% longer burn time, that enables the Astra Mark III to strike targets at greater distances, enhancing its effectiveness in scenarios involving high-value or long-range threats. The prototype of the AMCA Mark I that will be rolled out by late 2028, will feature 70% indigenous components. However, Aeronautical Development Agency and Hindustan Aeronautics have emphasized that the 5.5 generation AMCA Mark II powered by an indigenous 110 kN engine will enter production by 2033, and it will have 90% indigenous content, while remaining 10% of the aircraft systems may still be sourced from foreign suppliers, that are expected to be of less critical significance, and their absence from the Indian supply chain would not pose substantial risks to the overall operational capability of the aircraft. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, Mark dropped it.